Good evening, my name is Tom Kalinowski. I'm the Director of Technology and Operations for Colonial Intermediate Unit 20. This is Tech Tips number 67. This is in response to a question I had on one of my previous videos. The question was, when responses come in to a Google form, is it possible to list the results in a separate sheet for each homeroom teacher? So in this particular case, imagine that there's a Google form, and in my example, I have student ID and homeroom. So the question is, can you list the students that are in a particular homeroom in a separate sheet? So you have a separate sheet for Smith or Jones or Doe, etc. I'll show you how you can quickly do that with the query formula. So here's our uh, raw data. Okay? And let's go ahead and create a, a couple of sheets. So we'll create one for Smith, Jones, Doe, and Johnson. All right, so let's go to Smith first. So we want to type in equals query. So where is the data that we want to query? Uh, that's in sheet one. So let's go over to sheet one. And um, we can click someplace in here. And I don't like to use uh, specific cells in my references. That way, as the uh, form continues to grow and grow, um, your selection will automatically grow. So rather, rather than typing A1 or A2, I'm just going to type in A to B. Uh, so if your particular sheet had uh, columns up to I, you would say A to I. Now that we have our range selected, put a comma in there. And we're going to do quote, select. And in this case, I want all columns returned. So I'm going to say asterisk, where column B is equal to space, single quote, Smith, single quote, double quote, a comma, and uh, which row is the header. In this case, uh, one is the header. And we'll close parenthesis and hit enter. There you go. So that's all of the records that match the homeroom teacher of Smith. We can go ahead and uh, select this formula. Okay. And we can do the same thing for uh, Doe here. So we can hit paste, highlight Smith, Doe. Same thing. Jones, paste, Jones, and the last one. There you go. So as new records are added here, uh, let's just add another one manually without going through the form. And uh, let's go uh, Smith again. Okay. If we go to the Smith sheet, we can see that that's automatically there. So that's how you can direct form results to specific sheets. I hope you found that tip valuable. If you have any other questions or suggestions for future topics, don't hesitate to put them in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe and click on the bell. That way you can become aware of any time I post new content. Thank you and have a great day.